Hello everyone, I'm James. Welcome back to Winter Quartering. Today we are gonna do a solitary playthrough of uh, Twilight Struggle, Red Sea Conflict in the Horn of Africa. So I will play as the US, I dealt myself a hand of 9 cards, of course I hold the uh, Romanian autonomy card, the bot will not have his hand of cards, but instead what he's gonna do is draw uh, every turn a card from the draw pile and put on the rightmost pot of a card line only if the event is associated with, in this case, the Soviet Union superpower or if usable from both superpowers. If the event is uh, associated with the US, uh, it's gonna discard it. Uh, regardless of the result, it's gonna use these operation points of the card to conduct operation, following a set of given priorities. If the event is a, a scoring card, it will score the card only if it will gain the most point out of the region. If it won't be the case, it's gonna reshuffle the card back into the deck. So let's start our game so we are gonna see better how it works so first turn of the game we started the mid war so we'll take a look at our end of card i'm gonna select one for the event for the headline phase so we're gonna play the apollo test project the bot will draw a card from the draw pile and see if it is a playable event a playable event is one associated with the, their superpower or both powers and that our scheme says it's playable as a headline marked as a yes or no so let's check separatist yes it's playable as a headline playable if us has influence in a non-battleground country that is not soviet union controlled so it is not playable this turn i'm gonna set aside draw another one arab league Yes, it's playable. Playable if Urs would score three points. No, it is not playable. It requires the control of three between Egypt, Sudan, South Yemen. It doesn't have that. This is US associated, so it's not playable. This one doesn't meet the requirement here. Yemeni presidential, not playable. Cyrus Vance. Okay, this one is playable. It's a two ops. We have a two ops two, so we're gonna go first. So we advance one space in the space race track and we're gonna discard it. What the Soviet Union is gonna do, randomly draw two cards from US and discard one and return a remaining card. The discarded event is Soviet Union associated, gain two v three points. So we're gonna throw two dice. So it's a seven, one, two, seven. The six, six. So they're gonna discard this one and gain uh, two victory points. And this one is drawn to our end. This one is removed from the game. And the cards that we revealed that were not playable are gonna be reshuffled in our draw pile. Soviet Union gonna go first. So they will reveal one card for the draw deck. This one is US related. So 
they are gonna act with the two point operation and discard it. Let's see what they are gonna do. So, priorities. So, the Union does not control a flashpoint country, or at least three countries in Africa. Yes. So, we're gonna go down, play left most card in the card line. We don't have any card. Coop. If a four result, we remove all US influence from a flashpoint country. Yes, as you can see, a result of four in a coup with a two point operation will remove our influence in Ethiopia, that is a flashpoint country along with Somalia. So they're gonna attempt a coup. Because it's a flashpoint country, what we're gonna do is apply the flashpoint rule. So before the coup attempt, I'm gonna reveal a card from our draw deck. It will be a uh, one or two operation card or a scoring card that the DEFCON will decrease by one. It's a two, so we discard this and decrease our DEFCON status. Soviet Union will gain two military operation and let's see. 2 plus 2 from the card minus 2 double the stability region is 2 so they will remove our influence and put one influence so as in the in 1964 there's a coup in ethiopia and a change of regime let's go with our turn play this one victorious leader at four influence in countries adjacent to countries that were ussr controlled at the start of the round i did no more than two per country then we removed it from the game. So what we're gonna do is place two influence in Kenya and also in Saudi Arabia. That was our turn. Second turn from the for the USSR. So they draw the tent, they put in the rightmost spot, one operation. Let's see. First column does not control a French point country. Yes, they control one, but they don't control at least three counties in Africa. So and Africa scoring is not in the discard pile. Play event if it removes US control of a flashpoint country or changes control of sufficient country to prevent the US automatic victory. What this event does is nothing of that. So we're gonna go down, coop. If a full result will remove all US from a flashpoint, we don't have influence in flashpoint. Realignment if we uh, use flashpoint country, we don't have. So go down, payable uh, event no. Place influence, yes. So we have one point operation. Where do we place influence? Not the case, spaces without SSR control. A lot of spaces. So we go down. Africa scoring not in this card. Yes. Flashpoint country. See, put it here. We want to do something because right now the Soviet Union will gain an automatic victory if Africa, uh, African scoring card is played. So we are going to try a coup in Somalia again because it's a flashpoint count. We're going to draw, reveal the first card. It's a three. The draft cone is not decreased. We use a two. It's a five. Plus two is seven. Minus four will be three. So Russian turn. They draw Arab League and put it in the rightmost spot. See what they do again. First column, no, not our case. We're gonna attempt a coup in Somalia. So, again, we reveal a card. It's a two, increase the death cone, roll a die. It's a two plus two, the four minus four is nothing. We were lucky. Gonna play this one. We add one influence more in, in Sudan than USSR as in Ethiopia. So we put two in Sudan just to secure this important spot. Trying to get to Egypt, maybe that's a, it's a, is a key space, key country because uh, it belongs both to Africa and the Middle East. Plus, is a, a battleground space, so very important. Okay, let's move to the fourth Russian turn. Reveal one card, yes, Nasser is put in here. Again, first column, they cannot attempt a coup because the DEFCON is a two, they could lose. Maybe a realignment. No, because it requires the control, US control of flashpoint country, which we don't have. They're gonna place influence with one influence point. This is without USSR control. Okay, there's many. Flashpoint country, they cannot place here because they don't have an adjacency. Ethiopia, they already control it. Battle country. They cannot place in battle country because they will, they would require two operation points instead of one. List operation value needed to add USSR control. So I think the only spot is Djibouti. G. 
Djibouti. I butcher it, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna butcher it this name all the time. <laughs> We're gonna play this one for, for the ops point, two ops. I think two in Somalia. Russian turn card. Ooh, it's a strong one. There, two ops points. Always first column. Not the case. You can coop. Not the case. Already alignment. No, no place influence. Yes, where? Add it in English three without the Russian control. Flashpoint country one and two. You put the points separately. So for one point, you go down. Okay, we put the first one in place point count. Second one, okay, again. So our fifth turn. So play this one for the ops. Two influence market in Egypt and control it. Sixth turn for the bot. So they will place influence. They have three points of influence. So again, we go down. Flash point country. We don't have control no more. And again, flash point country. So we put all three here. We could try to uh, take advantage of our headline card that permitted to advance our space race track one spot via card event so we could uh, card this one a us uh, a ussr very powerful event we're gonna discard it uh, to try to advance two spots in one turn which is uh, i think super strong you will need one two or three yes we go here and gonna gain two victory points okay sorry that was the final turn so end of the first turn con levels two we are all fine reset the required mil military ops reset our action round track improve Defcon, Defcon status base one the solo ai advance automatically one spot on the space race track we're gonna go to late war our left over card is this what we're gonna do is shuffle our late war cards in the draw pile let's deal ourselves eight card so we could go back to nine and we're gonna start by playing our headline card hmm we'll play the african scoring and the russian Ooh, let's see is this one playable no reveal another one say shells playable if it does not control strategic lanes and at least three Middle East countries have no US influence, yes, it's playable. These are three, and these are three Middle East countries that we don't have any influence in. And they're gonna act first, of course, because it's a two ops. We reveal a scoring card that is equal to zero ops points. Add one USSR influence to strategic lanes for every Middle Eastern country without US influence. Put three here, this card pile, this, and this one gonna be reshuffled back. Then there will be an Africa scoring. Let's do the Russian first. So the Russian would have only presence no battle countries, no nothing, but they are ahead in influence in the strategic lanes. So it will score presence, one point, plus one, because they have more influence in strategic lanes. So two victory points. We have control, so four victory points, and plus one per controlled battleground country. So it's four plus two, six victory points. So begin action round, we will one card. They have four ops points. This one, Africa Square is not in the discard pile. Yes, it's the discard pile. So, US has a choke point influence. What is a choke point? A choke point is a country with US influence that is adjacent to a battleground that US does not have influence. US, in this case, that would refer to the power I'm controlling. So, the bot, what is gonna try to do to uh, prevent us to put influence in battleground? Very smart, clever bot. So does we does we have a choke point? No, because we have influence in all battlegrounds. So Defcon is three. Yes, there is an isolated influence, U.S. influence in battleground of Flashpoint country. Yes, we have an isolated influence because Saudi Arabia is not adjacent to any of our influence. Play left most card in the card line. If uh, removes all the influence from that country or will cope with the last two operation or left Moscar is this one not the case so coop to result will remove all the isolated we cannot coop 
in middle list because DEFCON is a three. Area line, there is a battleground of first world car with isolated USA influence. No, the only one isolated is dead, but we can't make her. any realignment role. So gonna go down here. US military operation uh, lesser than DEFCON. Yes, action round six, seven, eight. No, it's, it's the first round. No other condition applies. Play first playable event in card line let's see we have our detent to play as event yes playable if us holds romanian autonomy card and us has at least two military ops we have our romanian card but we don't have any military ops so it's not playable what they're gonna do is place influence yes so they have four influence points to place influence space without USSR control. Africa scoring not in this card. Yes, it's in this card, so no. Battleground country. Which battleground? Go down. List operation value needed to S USSR control. Here they will need four. Here they will need six. Here using two ops. And the other two of here don't have control anymore. So I use this one for the ops point. I think we would want to spread control Middle East. Second round from the USSR. We have a choke point. No. Point no. Death goes three. Yes. There is isolated US influence. Not anymore. Playable for card event. No. So it's not playable. So let's place influence. Three influence. Battleground country. So they place one here. To have control, so we have the other two points. We we'll place them here, so we don't have the control no more. So let's play this one, remove all US sorry in Djibouti or Madagascar, and two US influence in one of those country. Remove from the game, remove this, place this. Let's go with the Russian. I think I did some confusion with the action round track. They're gonna place influence. Two point influence to the ground country. So they had one here and also the other one. So play this one to just to put the influence. Three influence. So we want to secure control here. Russian turn. Draw card here. One up point. Play the first event. No, place influence. Mm -hmm. Battleground country. They cannot place anymore in battleground country. So strategic sea lanes. Control over strategic sea lanes. Not very good for us. So let's try a coup in Kenya. Three up. It's a six plus three is nine minus four five. So super perfect. <laughs> we also increase three. Increase that one. Five for the Russians. So two ops points. The tent is not playable. Place influence, yes. Battleground country to influence. They want us to prevent from scoring control. Our fifth card would be that one just to try a realignment here in Somalia with a plus two modifier. Three plus two will be a five. They don't have any modifier with Oh, we have a plus three actually because we control Kenya, Djibouti, Sudan. So we're gonna remove all influence here. So round six. Let's see, round six. So playable first event card in line. I think now is playable. Payable if US holds Romanian autonomy. Yes, and US has at least two military points. Yes, they will play this one, add two to its military operation, and US subtract two. And uh, the bot claims our Romanian card. The bot never gonna play this card. If it gains it, it holds it uh, till the end of the game to score one victory point. We want to control Saudi Arabia, I think. So use it for the ops. Just to say, stay safe. Let's turn for the bot. Set two ops. What do you want to do? Arab League is playable. No, they, they will not. Not playable. So they will place influence. Where? Battleground country. So they will place two influence there. But that 
not prevent us to detain control of Saudi Arabia. So we have our last round in the game. It's this one. So score two victory points. Remove from the game. Uh, I think we super won this one. Go to final scoring. The US gonna advance automatically here. They're gonna gain one victory point. Five. Then we're gonna score Africa. Uh, we have control of Africa. So we will gain four plus two for the battleground. There are um, six victory points. So we go to 11. The Russian has presence multiplied by two because they control strategic sea lanes. So they're gonna score uh, two points. One, two, go back to nine. Middle East, we have control of Middle East. Seven victory points plus two for the battlegrounds, the Russians three, presence multiplied by, by two. Do you see how strong uh, this, this uh, spot is? Three multiplied by two, six against our seven plus two, nine. So three victory points, one. So we, we end, ended up with a, with a great victory. 12 victory points are a lot, I never won by uh, this amount, but I have to admit I, I had a very good dance of card and also a bit of luck <laughs> in the, with the dice rolling. Uh, that was it, quick, uh, quick little game that feel, feels like quite a struggle and uh, is uh, because the map is so small and there's uh, so uh, few spots, every move seems powerful and uh, there's a lot of punches in the air. <laughs> That's it, I hope you enjoyed it. I was James from Winter Quartering, give me a like if you like uh, the video. If you're interested in more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and till the next game, have a good one, bye!